Hello guys and welcome back to the Blue Elixir today. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your own Minecraft skin. Um, this is pretty simple and it's pretty just for people that are new to Minecraft, don't really know how to customize their own skin and they probably want to. Uh, of course you can go to minecraftskins.com, blah 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 whatever, upload it from there, you know, but if you want to make your own, like let's say really, really officially own, like, you know, custom made, fully 100% custom made, this is how. So, uh, of course you can use different programs, I really recommend this one because it's very beginner friendly and it's really good for beginners of making skins and all that. Um, I personally use it, uh, in the beginning of making skins myself. I actually made my own skin, by the way, with this, so for those of you who were running before, and, uh, yeah, but, um, let's jump straight into it. So, the first thing you're gonna have to know is where the body parts are located. Now, as you can see, which is pretty obvious, I'm using the Steve skin right now. These glasses, don't worry, I just added those myself, you know. Yeah, they're pretty fancy, I know. But, uh, <laughs> so here we have the face, or the front, of the actual head of Steve. As you can see, um, this is pretty much his face, which is obvious. And, um, to the left, we actually have his right side of his head. Now, if you turn this around, I'll give you guys a little preview here and show you what it looks like. So, for example, uh, you know, if you look from uh, another perspective from, say, I'd see another play on a server, uh, another player play on a server, and I'd see it from my perspective, of course, this would be the right side of his head and not the right left because, you know, it just looked really weird. So, this is the left side of his, uh, uh, I mean, right, sorry. Oh, I keep <laughs> Never mind. Uh, this is the right side of his head. This is the left. This is the top, this is the bottom, and this is the back. As you can see, it's pretty obvious all of it, but, um, yeah, if you, if, if you were confused anyway, you know, that's it. But, um, so yeah, moving on to the legs. So, as you can see, pretty much the same thing on the legs. We have the front right here. Let me just move that little side a little bit. Uh, we have the front here, we have the right here. Uh, same thing goes for the head. And uh, we have the left here, and we have the back here. So, this pretty much is going to be your uh, bottom, I guess, the bottom of your, uh, like, Legs, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. Foot, like feet, anything. I don't know. Uh, this is pretty much going to be the top of your legs. So it's pretty similar to, as you can see, the uh, the arms and the legs are pretty much similar. Um, they work pretty much just the same. Uh, we have the front right here. We have the right right here. The left, the uh, back, and uh, we have the actual hand or like the, the front of the hand. And we have the shoulder right here. So uh, very similar to the legs. And if we go to the um, uh, body. As you can see, uh, we have the neck, we have the bottom of the body, um, well, all the private parts, you know, yeah, yeah I'm not going to name anything else, but uh, <laughs> we have the front of the body, the uh, right side of the body right here, and the uh, left side and the back side, which is pretty obvious. It pretty much everything is very similar to itself, but um, yeah, so if we, uh, let's see here, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but uh, let's see if I can, yep, uh, so this part right here, as you can see on the glasses, as you can see, I've added some glasses here, black glasses, you know, kind of fits my character, you know, just add some more s swag into Steve, I'd call it, maybe, and uh, as you can see, uh, you might be wondering, how did I do this, and uh, how, do, how do I know it's going to fit exactly onto his eyes, well, it's pretty simple, all you need to do is, um, well, this is how I do, but I copy this part right here, and uh, if you guys want to get this program by, the, uh, by yourselves, by the way, paint.net, it's called, uh, I'll leave a download link in the description for you guys if you want to go ahead and download yourselves. Uh, I'll leave this template download too for you guys if you want to download yourself. So all the links for everything I'm really using are going to be in the description below. So if you guys want to go check it out yourselves. Um, but yeah, so uh, I will leave, I, uh, I'm sorry, blah, sorry, I can't even talk. Uh, I will leave uh, all the links for this and paint.net and everything else I'm using in the description below. You guys want to, you know, check it out yourselves and, you know, use it, do the same thing. But you are going to be using or needing, uh, you you are going to need Paint.net to actually do this. Um, if you want to start out from scratch, do nothing, you know, that's fine with me. You know, it's up to you. But, um, yeah, so this part right here um, is is useful if you want to make a, like, uh, another layer for your uh, head. So, you know, if you've ever seen a player before with uh, another layer on his head, you know, making it, you know, adding some extra detail and all that. You can do that yourself too now too. So, um, let's say... Uh, I want this guy to have some glasses, so what I do is I just, you know, uh, draw some glasses, this is what I do, I just copy the actual head, add the things that I want, and then I remove everything except for the things I want, and, you know, I'm done, that's that's probably the easiest you can do. So, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys a little um, uh, preview here, uh, to see how it looks like with this design, with the glasses design, I don't really know, let's call it uh, Swag Steve. And uh, this is as an example. And as you can see, it looks okay. You know, you can design it however you want. You can, uh, and but with Paint.net, you can do many different types. There's so many things you can do with Paint.net. I really recommend it. You can, you can select things. You can, you can really, you can just watch this. What adjustments? Uh, let's go to here. Observation. I, I can just change the, the color of skin. Uh, like Steve, watch this. Oh my God, isn't that crazy? Look at this. And I might even upload this to MicroSkins.com. Wow. <laughs> There's so many things you can do with uh, 
uh, paint.net, you, you can design, you can draw. So to draw, you just like the little uh, pencil drawing thing. You can draw whatever you want. I'm not really a very professional drawer here, as you can see. But um, draw anything you like. Draw some glasses. You're cool. Good to go. And you can have some, you know, let's say I want to make uh, Steve look a little bit more fancy. I just uh, select his uh, his body to that. Let's see here. You make it a little bit better. No. Wait. Hold on. Boop. Okay. Not really willing to do what I want here. Uh, Imagine the job. And let's say, uh, oh, God. Did I select everything? Yeah, that's good. So let's say I want to add some uh, more style to Steve here. I go to photo, let's say softer portrait, and look at this guy. He looks really awesome now. So or let's say we want to go to uh, blurs. I want to make him really, really blurry. That's fine too. I want to go to, uh, let's say, distort. Uh, how about this for crystallize? Oh my god. That's, oh my god. That's awesome. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> oh my god. That's creepy. Oh god. <laughs> you can do so many things with this uh, program. Of course, you don't need to do, this, do these kind of effects. This is a random example. You can draw yourself. Select some colors, draw whatever you want. For example, grab myself a pen, select this color right here, boom, go bam, this, doom, do whatever you want. And it's a very simple program, so it's very beginner friendly and it's good for new new designers or just, you know, people that want to make skins. And uh, yeah, but uh, there is really nothing else I can say or give you guys about this. So if you guys did like this video, if it did help you out in some way, if you're new to making skins, you know, please leave this video a like, it really helps me out. And as always, become a lexer today by subscribing to my channel. And have, if you have any comments or any questions, leave a comment below. Believe the video or right, below the video, and um, I'll try to answer it as soon as as quick as I can, and hopefully even uh, as as good as I can. And uh, you know, yeah. So, uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys found this helpful. Anyway, if you did find it helpful, please, as once again, leave it a like. And uh, that's it for today. So yeah, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.